It's always interesting to see the artist in front of the stage, but sometimes you don't get to see what happens behind the stage. The nerves, the preparation, from the staff to the backup dancers, those all go into a show. From family, to friends, to fans. But here we have Eric Nam. Someone that I got into his music a little bit, maybe in the middle, late, a little late. From my perspective, I knew him as the guy that interviews people that comes to Korea. Do it again. All right. Dude! A host, charismatic. And I feel like those things actually do help him in a show. Cause you do have to entertain the audience. I feel like I got into Eric Nam through Into You. That's when I secured me as like an Eric Nam fan, as an avid Eric Nam listener. The collab with Eric Nam and Wendy got my attention as well. Then Cave Me In, that epic collab of Cave Me In with Galant, Tablo, and Eric Nam. And then all the way to the Honestly album. Now I've told you how I got into Eric Nam. What about yourself? through his song like Uru, that's my favorite. Hit it star! 4EM is like by far my, my favorite song. And the Spring Love. Spring Love's good, yeah. Cover of Eyes, Nose, Lips. Heaven's Door is what really got me into Eric Nam in the first place. Then I came across the song on Spotify and started listening to his music from there on out. And I drove from San Diego because I became a very good fan. and his singing is just so talented. Love Eric's humor and his interviews and ability to connect with the Korean American audience. He <laughs> portray everything on stage and he has such charisma and I absolutely love him. Everything is bad of the ability that I'm able to connect with him on a personal level just because he knows English and yeah. I'm able to connect with him. Because his music is popping and he's a cute personality. Super down to earth and really humble. My humble king. Hey, hold up. The Mikey stands. Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, Mikey. Backup dancers. Yeah. Mexico te ama. Mexico te ama. Yes. Eric. Eric. Stan, but, Mikey. But Eric, I'll be good for you. Ooh. Honestly, Eric. Hashtag Mikey Stan. Hashtag Mikey Stan. Y'all, there's a lot of Mikey stands. Yeah. We're also Eddie Stan. Yeah. Wait, I want to meet. Where? How come I don't know Mikey? <laughs> Ready? So ready, let's go. Up down? Up, we're gonna go up. One, two, three, up! Oh, yeah. I had an idea and I kind of knew what happens behind the scenes of a production. It's still interesting to see it up close and personal and just unfold before my eyes. From the preparation to the nerves. And right before he steps on the stage, the presence of the crowd, the anticipation of everybody just wanting to see Eric Nam. They paid the ticket to see Eric Nam just to perform an amazing show. Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all good? This is not a love song, sad and not in upset. I can't let it go. Let go.
hopefully this is the birth of something new where I can show a little bit of something behind the scenes. Show a little something from the artists and the production and staff and the backup dancers that you don't really see that much of. Yo, shout out to Justin Choi for allowing me to use his camera when I didn't even bring mine. Eric Nam, you're improving each time I see you perform or a new song or a new song that you show right before my eyes. I never was able to say that to your face because either you were busy or I was busy. Big up to Eddie Nam, to Eric Nam, to the whole staff, everybody for allowing me to film a little bit here and there. Get to experience the production value from behind the scenes. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like. Please comment down below. If you're new to Eric Nam, go check out his music, whether it be in Korean or English. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.